We're going to be starting a rental portfolio with only $35,000. Long from Texas, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And you guys know, right, you know, my uh, regular followers and, uh, you know, viewers, if you're new to the show, just quickly, uh, they already know this, but Holton Wise TV, we provide you guys with education and real estate related content, financial advice, things of that nature. A lot of people do that, though. What we do is we couple all of that education uh, financial advice, transparency into the industry. We couple it with real properties, right? We sell properties. We help you analyze properties. And this particular show is the most interactive show we have on Holton Wise TV. I work with you one-on-one -on -one to find out what your wants, your needs, your goals are. And then I try to match you with the right properties. And then, of course, after the fact, my team, we will handle your real estate investment from the top to the bottom. We'll be able to uh, represent you as your buyer's broker. We'll handle the property management, renovation. We even got insurance and title. We, we, we knock it all out for you guys, top to bottom, pure turnkey, right? And my man, Long, I'm working with him today. And Long, you're a great example of why it's smart when you work with us and you do the MLS search analysis packages. You're a really good example of why you want to do the bigger packages. You ended up with uh, five, you know, we're contracted to do five deals. And the reason you're a good example for why you need to do the bigger packages, guys, you don't want to just do one property because, you know, it might not work out because a lot of times I got to adjust your expectations on the market or sometimes the deals won't work. So Long, you're, you're a good example of that, brother. You got 35K, okay? You have $35,000 in cash and you want to buy a house. You want to buy it outright. Now, you were hoping to get an A or B property. Thing is, that's not going to cut it. That's not 35k is not going to cut the mustard, brother. Like some of the neighborhoods you were you're questioning, like you were interested in Parma, like dude, if you Parma is a B neighborhood number 1, not even an A neighborhood, and Parma is a B neighborhood. You ain't buying a house in Parma for under $100,000. So, you know, Parma is out Lakewood. I mean, dude, you got we got houses in Lakewood, bro. They're they're some of the duplexes in Lakewood are like two quarter, two fifty, you know, close to three hundred. So Lakewood's out, right? Shaker Heights too expensive. Cleveland Heights, Cleveland Heights is a little bit cheaper. You can get some stuff in Cleveland Heights uh, on the low end, but like we're looking at like maybe the sixties uh, for single families. Maple Heights possibly might be able to get you into the high fifties, sixties. Same thing with Euclid. So. All of these neighborhoods you're interested in, with your particular budget, it's not going to um, really work, right? So if you want to save up a little bit more money, get to where you got like 60, 65K, we could start looking at doing some deals in either Maple Heights or Euclid. That's probably where we'd want to start. Uh, but... If you're hell-bent on doing a deal now, knocking one out with this 35 Gs, I brought you something. I pulled something up that could work for you, brother. Showing you what your money is going to be able to get you, okay? 12405 Milligan Avenue, Cleveland, 44135. Now, this is a little C-class neighborhood, okay? Just a nice little C-class neighborhood on the west side of Cleveland. I do like this neighborhood. We don't have too much info about the property, okay? All we have is this one photograph. It is tenant-occupied. The current tenant is paying $700 a month, so that's $8,400 a year. Now, the... You know, selling rentals, okay? Just selling rentals in general, owner or tenant occupied rental properties, guys. It's a bitch, all right? Just straight up. It's a fucking bitch. And here's the other thing we got about 5,000 real estate agents in the Cleveland market, okay? Holton Wise, we are the number one seller of real estate, rental real estate in the Cleveland area. This is all we do. We do not like drive clients around or show people houses they're going to live into. That's not what we do. But the other 5,000 real estate agents, including the cat from Century 21 who listed this house, 
the, that's the majority of what they do, okay? Like 99.9% .9 of what they do is all that type of real estate. So when they randomly get these listings, all right, for rental properties, oftentimes, you know, it's just, you know, people know them as the realtor. Maybe they help them buy and sell their own home, and they ended up with, like, one random rental, and they go to sell it, right? And it's very, very tough, all right, for these guys to do this because they're so used to the other way of selling a house, which is, Buyer's interested in a home, you show them the home, they like it, they make an offer. But rentals are not like that, right? Like you, like in a normal scenario, you are my client. So it would be like you like a house, you got to talk to me, I got to talk to the listing agent, who's got to talk to the owner, who's got to talk to the tenant, and then the tenant could say when they could show it, and then we go back through the whole daisy chain, and then maybe that day doesn't work for you, we go back, and this whole fucking just nightmare daisy chain doesn't really work, right? On top of that, tenants, they constantly cancel the showings, or they just make things difficult. And judging by the, <laughs> the yard here, I, I don't necessarily know... If this particular tenant is what I would call a tidy tenant, I mean, look at this fucking grass, right? It's a goddamn fucking jungle. So, all of that is actually going to be good for you, though, right? Because all these other real estate agents, man, all 5,000 of them, you know, that's the kind of process they would go through. It's a fucking nightmare, right? It's, it's just terrible, and that's just what's going to keep our prices down. Now, this says that it's been on the market for two days. However, that is not the case. This property has actually been listed uh, two times in the past. Excuse me one second, just trying to adjust my cord here. This property's been listed two times in the past, both six-month listings, and they were expired. So this has actually been on the market for over a year. Okay, they keep trying to list it at 50 k well, I don't think anybody's going to pay 50 k dog. It's not going to happen. All we got is one picture, right? We don't know what the inside looks like, and we know showings are a fucking bitch. That's why it's not working for these people. So because of that, I think your budget of 35 is going to get us this deal, dude. I want to make an offer 35 because that's honestly what I think with th how this property is being presented. That's what I think it's worth. I think it's worth 35000 I don't think it's worth 50 I would not advocate for you spending 50 I don't want to see you spend a penny over 35000 because that is what a little Cleveland West Side C-Class rental property with just some scuzzy tenant is worth. Scuzzy tenant paying 700 That's what it's worth, man. 35 Gs. Of that 700 that comes in, on average, I expect us to spend 393 a month operating it, leaving us with an average NOI of 307, which is 3684 a year, right? So that's what you'd be making. That would be a 10 and a half cap. Now, Long, I know you're not interested in financing, uh, but if you were to to want to go that route and you don't feel like paying cash if you need lenders brother i got you man sales at holdwise.com and everybody else out there if you guys are interested in these lenders go ahead send us an email ask us for the list we'll give it to you it's totally free you don't got to buy an mls search and analysis package to get these lenders we will give those to you for free investors living in all 50 states buying properties in all 50 states if you guys want to buy a property in tallahassee florida and you need a lender you know reach out to us man we'll hook you up okay so with my lenders, I got lenders who will do a 30-year loan. You only need to put down 25%, so you would only need to put down 8750 They would give you a mortgage, 26250 I got lenders that will write mortgages as low as $20,000, okay? That would be the minimum. Twenty k is the minimum. If you did that, brother, after your teeny tiny mortgage, you'd be looking at a 27% cash on cash return. So you can stretch your funds, right? So you got two options here, man. We could try to take this one down with your existing budget. We just, budget. We just had to, you know, adjust your expectations. Know that the quality of property you're trying to get is going to go down. You're going to be dealing with tenants that treat their yard like this, right? I mean, that's just that's just kind of some of the stuff that happens, right? This is like C-class investing, man. This is what happens. But you know, perhaps the landlord doesn't get on them. I mean, if the city comes and they and they issue a, f a violation or a fine, if you own the property in an LLC, it's a $500 fine. If you own it in your own name, it's a $50 fine. So if a violation were to be given to you, at that point, we could go to the time and be like, look, motherfucker, you could either cut this motherfucking grass and we're not going to get one of these again and we're going to boot your fucking ass out of there, right? So it's, it's a possibility that this landlord isn't doing that, isn't exerting their lease's authority, right? They're not putting their foot down. Maybe they're just done and they just, just want out of it and they don't care. So, you know, we could potentially whip this tenant up into shape. And if we can't, 
That's totally fine, too. There's the door. We will show it to them. All right, we'll get rid of them, and we'll go in, and we'll renovate the property. You're probably, you know, based on the outside, I don't see why we would need to spend at least 10 Gs on the inside getting it looking nice. But if you do that, we'd probably want to go with the Section 8 tenant. We'd be able to get that rent up, though. We'd get the rent up to 850 maybe even 875 So there's a little meat on the bone. So that's one avenue you could take. We could go this route. If you want to do that, just let us know. We'll write the offer, and we will try to beat those sellers down to get you at 35 because, again, I don't want to see you pay more than 35 It ain't worth 50 I, I, With what I'm seeing here, I see nobody trying to pay 50 And that was another one of your questions to me. You were, like, asking me, uh, like, you know, about those other cities we talked about, Parma, Lakewood, Shaker Heights, Cleveland Heights, Maple Heights, Euclid. You were asking me, like, how fast things move, how soon do you have – uh, like how much time do you have to make an offer? Um, what I can tell you is this. Every property is going to be different, okay? It's, you know, a lot of people like to ask, like, how long do I have? Like, I can't 100% tell you. Yes, like some cities are hot, like Lakewood. Whenever somebody puts a property in Lakewood up for sale, it usually moves immediately. That's extremely hot. But more often than not, the rule of thumb is it's based upon the individual property because, like, not every seller is an intelligent person. You know, like this property... I think it's being poorly marketed. I see there's a, a poor amount of effort being put into this property. And I also think that the majority of agents out here don't understand how to sell rentals. So, like, the performance on list listing is going to be different if this particular guy lists it versus if I list it. But even more so than that, like, all these sellers, like, the sellers ultimately – choose the listing price like agents could be like yo i think it's worth this and the seller's like i'm not going to list with you unless you list it at this and a lot of the agents will just take the listing or the agent could turn down the listing but if the seller ain't willing to list it for like the appropriate price it could just sit on the market totally overpriced and nobody's going to buy it so if you price a listing correctly they'll usually move within 30 days so my advice to you would be if you like a deal i'm presenting to you you should probably hop on it sooner rather than later with this particular deal being listed at 50 and me thinking you don't need to spend a penny more than 35, I would assume you could take your time on this one. I don't see this one flying off the shelf tomorrow, but that's just an assumption and stranger things have happened. So again, if, if, if you're interested in a deal, you got to take it down, brother. Just take the fucker down and, and just call it a day. So if that's what you want to do with this one, let us know. If not, if you are set on getting into a little bit nicer neighborhood, getting set, getting into Euclid or Maple Heights or Cleveland Heights, that's probably where I would say we should start. Let's put a pause on the rest of your videos and wait till you have about sixty, sixty-five thousand to play with, or if you want to take that thirty-five you have and instead of buying a property outright, just use that as a down payment to get into those neighborhoods. Let me know, and we'll either move forward on this one or we'll get started on your next video with our new plan of attack. Everybody else out there who's watching the show, if you like what I did for uh, my man Long today, you're interested in investing in the Cleveland market, and you'd like this level of service, you guys just got to go to the Property Search for Sale tab on HoltonWise.com. Click the MLS Search Analysis Order Package today. Like I said at the top of the show, I think the bigger packages are much better, right? Some people, they just want to get one property, but... It's a numbers game. We're investors. We're trying to extract value out of the marketplace. You know, it's not like there's just all this equity just like sitting on trees. Like we got to work hard to try to get actual good deals. Unless you want to like take a deal like this and instead of trying to get it for 35, y'all just want to pay 50. Y'all just want to pay list price. Great. Get one show. I'll, I'll pick out some properties. Y'all could pay list price. I'll collect my commission. We'll move on. Right. But that doesn't sound that appealing to me. I'm trying to make money, as I assume you are, and I assume you'd pay me money to try to help you make some money. So if that's the case, I really think you guys need to get the, the large packages so I could really work with you one-on-one -on -one back and forth, adjust your expectations, change strategy if we need to, to get you the best deals. So that's it, folks. I'm going to head out of here. If you haven't already done so, make sure you smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is... Real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. 
your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.